long this uh, wind's going to stick around. Uh, we, we, we got two rounds, so two rounds. this will be a little later on tonight. We'll back it down and then another round for Sunday. the tail end of the weekend. Yeah, so we got elevated fire concerns all across that seven day. Let's go to Stockton and have a live shot looking at the waterfront where it's a bit breezy down there, but not as strong as the winds north and west of the Sacramento area as we do this here show. Let's take a look at some numbers. Temperatures are headed in the right direction, upper 70s and lower 80s. We should be in the mid 70s, but you got to start somewhere. 79 currently in Sacramento, 81 Stockton, 79 Modesto, 77 Marysville. Humidity is dry. Dew points are in the mid 20s. Winds sustained north northwest at 14 around Sacramento, but we have seen some gusts 25 plus miles per hour within the last couple of hours. All right, so we basically have fair skies out here and we'll continue to have fair skies every once in a while. Might have a couple of high clouds stream on by as areas of low pressure go off to the east. So we've got one out here right now that's kind of sitting over here and that's generating the gusty winds that we're enjoying or experiencing right now. Tomorrow will be breezy under mostly sunny skies and then we need to focus on this. This is going to dive down and this is going to drop our temperatures to like the 40s up in the high country on Sunday. May see morning lows down into the single digits and this could also generate a little wintry weather. A slight chance of that. Maybe some snow or at least a wintry mix up there in the Sierra on Sunday. It's also going to help to contribute to another wind event just in time for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. And that's why we have a fire weather watch for that period. And we continue right now to be under a red flag warning until five o'clock tomorrow afternoon for most of Northern California. So for tomorrow, it's uh, northwest winds, upper 70s, low 80s for the northern San Joaquin Valley. And then tomorrow, maybe still a little bit breezy, 79 for Sacramento, 79 for Elk Grove, low 80s for Vacaville. For the gold country, you actually have a really nice Friday. I mean, it's a little warmer than it should be, but it's kind of fall like we got temperatures in the 70s all over the place. 71 for Pollock Pines, 73 for Grass Valley. Up toward Plumas County, you're going to end up with mostly sunny conditions there, and temperatures will be in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Now, let's talk about some chill that's already going to start. It's dry, morning low at Truckee down into the teens. Daytime highs, though, are in the mid 60s, but don't worry, as we go through the weekend, we'll really get the chill going on up there. And then over toward the west, maybe partly cloudy skies to start, then sunshine and 69 for Monterey. San Francisco will have a couple of clouds to start, and then we'll go with sunshine there. And uh, daytime highs in the upper 60s, low 60s for Fort Bragg, finally down into the low 80s for Fairfield. Seven-day forecast shows you a bit breezy tomorrow. Saturday is feeling very much like fall, waiting for the next wind event on Sunday. And again, this is where we have the fire weather watch in place for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And then we're back to above average, but pretty pleasant Wednesday and Thursday of next week. And here comes the seven day forecast for the Bay Area. It's windy on Monday with that weather maker coming on through. Elevated fire concerns everywhere. And in the high country, there you go. We may have a chance of a little wintry precipitation as we go on through Sunday itself up there in the Sierra. And morning lows are going to be cold down into the single digits. We got more news coming up in just a little bit. We'll see you in a few.